Poetry is one of Nigeria's ancient arts that has helped in promoting and putting the country on the world tourism map. However, recently there has been a tremendous decline in the practice and quality of the arts due to increased urbanization. In this next report, our correspondent Abisola Adebayo speaks to a young Nigerian with traditional poetry skills on how she's managing to sustain the art. Traditional and method of poetry is a synergy of culture, transcending multiple generations. But this beautiful culture may be on its way to extinction with the advent of technology. 25-year-old Adeke Miolubade is one of Nigeria's youngest custodians of the ancient art. She built her interest in the craft in secondary school and decided to seek more knowledge to complement her skills. Since I was in secondary school, I love playing with clay then. So when I now finished my handy, you know, during ND days, we, we make everything together, making graphics, textile, and some other things too. But I, I was now thinking of where can I, what can I specialize on if I want to start my HND. So I now think, uh, well, I like playing with clay. I like playing with clay a lot. I love pottery. So I now had to go for, for to know more about pottery. I went for um, a year program. So that was where I learned my pottery. I improved in making the pots at um, Atamura Pottery. Adekemi's skill in pottery making embodies the fusion of both the old and new styles. A unique style attracts enthusiasts of arts and crafts from around the world. This is how she earns a living and she also imparts the knowledge to students across the country. During my HND period, people started bringing works to me. They, were, they, 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 had, they had interest in, in all my works that, wow, how can a girl be making all these works? I started having a lot of customers. They were inviting me for classes. They invited me for um, ultimate love to come there and teach a lot of people about how I make my poetry works. At times they invite me for all these secondary school workshops and some other things too. She says the fragility of a product and unavailability of funds are the major challenges she faces, but despite the constraints, Adekemi is determined to keep the traditional craft alive. It wasn't easy at all. I faced a lot of challenges. At times I would make a lot of pots. Before I would come back the following day, the pots will have collapsed or something else will have happened to all those pots. At times I won't be customer. Everywhere we just... But well, we have to take it like that. We have no choice as to take it like that. Because at times there will be more customers. A lot of customers they will be requesting, we want your pots, we want your pots, we want your pots. Adekemi is not allowing the challenges to dampen her spirit. She is taking things one step at a time, hoping that in about 10 years from now, she would establish her own traditional pottery institution where students from far and wide can learn the traditional craft. Abisola Adebayo, TV360, Lagos.